Oh, baby, baby. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm just gonna wear this jacket, but listen. Not very good for audio, is it? So bright, so yellow. Ooh! Not to lose all my senses. That is just so typically me. Oh, baby, baby. Oops, I did it again. I get this question every once in a while from people and I feel like I'm at a place now with my Instagram following that I don't feel like a total loser poser talking about this. <laughs> it's uh, growing your Instagram following. It's something that there's a million articles about, a million YouTube videos about, so many people talk about it and it's still a difficult thing to do and to figure out what to do and find out what methods work best for you. So I'm gonna be talking about specifically how to grow your art Instagram, but you can apply these things that I talk about to any Instagram. I'm just focusing on art because that's what I know. And there are a couple little nuances that are specific to art that I implement that maybe wouldn't work for say like a fashion blog or a clothing thing, those kind of things. I like to use methods that are a little more ethical if that makes sense, a lot of these Instagram get followers quick methods that you find on articles and YouTube videos or whatever, they're, they're, the ways they're saying to get followers is kind of sketchy. It creates a facade, not only for the people following you, but for you yourself, that you are bigger than you are. And it's, it's weird, it's like an ego thing, it's kind of icky, so I try and avoid that at all costs. So what I'm gonna do is talk about the do's and don'ts of growing your Instagram account when you're an artist or whoever. You can apply this to whatever you're doing, but I'm focusing specifically on art. So let's start with the don'ts because they're a little bit shorter and I wanna get them out of the way immediately. They're not hard and fast don'ts. They're my don'ts for the ethical growth method that I was trying to use that creates a really genuine vibe. On my Instagram account, I'm trying to exude genuine energy of who I actually am, creating like complete transparency for the things I'm doing so other people can learn from what I'm doing, right? So these are my don'ts for what I would recommend. Number one, this one's really big. I think this is the biggest one overall. Don't be impatient about the way your account is growing. It can be hard to be putting so much work into your posts. When you're working that hard, you wanna see like major growth, but it takes a lot of time and the more impatient you get, the more frustrated you get, the less you feel motivated to be putting work into your account, you have to know that growing your Instagram is a long-term game. It's not gonna happen right. There are very rare things that make this happen right away, like somebody with a lot of influence reposting your thing. Like Those things really don't happen that often. You have to very slowly build it up. It's not gonna happen right away. So plan for this to be like years that it takes. Two years ago is when I super started to focus on making my account a kind of business thing, like knowing I wanted to grow it and make it something potentially that I can make income off. Two years is a long time for where, where I'm at now. I'm at a great place now, but it takes a long time and a lot of effort and it's gonna be difficult. It's a long-term thing. It, this is not a sprint, it's a marathon. So remember that. Number two, this one's kind of obvious and you hear it from everywhere, but don't buy your followers. For one, if you do that, your account could be flagged for being a spammy fake account and because it goes against the guidelines of Instagram and you can be deleted like that. No. So it's bad news there. And also it creates this fake perception of what you are and people notice it. If you look at someone's following and they have 10,000 followers and then you look at their, their actual posts and see they're only getting like 12 likes per post, like people see that and know that's fake and like have a bad perception of you because you are obviously buying your followers. Those followers that you're getting are not real people. They're not people who are gonna wanna support you and eventually, if you're looking to make this a business, give you money for things. Those, they're fake, they're not real. So if you do that, setting yourself up for failure because you'll think you'll have this number of followers, but you don't. You, they're not actually there. They're not real people that like you and wanna support you. There is a pull to it because there's some psychology around people seeing that you have a lot of followers and being more inclined to follow you because you have a high amount of followers, but people aren't that dumb. There's not that many people that are actually 
going to do that. They're going to see what your account looks like. They're going to see your engagement and be like, mm, I don't like this because it gives me weird vibes because it's fakey. So don't do that. Do not buy followers. Other thing that happens with artists is fairly frequently for me, I'll get messages being like, DM us to be featured on our page and I'll go look at their page and they have like lots of followers. So like. 70,000 lots of followers you'll message them and they'll be like yeah we can feature you pay us $20 and you're like oh so then you go look a little closer at their account and it turns out their engagement is crazy low you look at the quality of the posts that they're doing they're awful they're just accounts that have bought followers trying to make money off artists who want to promote themselves and really not giving those artists anything at all because there's no no one's actually looking at their pages because all their followers are fake. So don't do that. Never, 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 never pay to have your art show up on one of those promoted art kind of things. It's really, it looks like it's a good deal, but it's not. It's really not. If you take a close look, it's icky, 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 icky. No one wants that. Oh, okay. Pet peeve of mine. If you are trying to get more followers, please don't do this. It's the worst. It's so... People will comment on my posts and be like, thumbs up emoji, follow me? That's not how you get people to want to engage with you. It feels entitled and weird and like you're not trying, like there's no reason, there's no incentive when you message me that for me to want to go check you out. It just makes me feel like you don't care about me and you're not trying to engage with me because you are interested in me. It makes me feel like you're just grabbing for my follow. There's a much better way to go about doing things like that. Write someone like a nice long like, hey, I think you're really cool. You've inspired me to do these things. I also do this kind of stuff. If you want, check out my stuff. As opposed to just like, cool, follow me. <laughs> Don't comment on somebody's post. F for F. Don't comment on someone's post like, check out my page. It's, you gotta be a little bit more than that. That's not how you engage with people. That's not how you make people interested in you. Those are my big don'ts. They're kind of obvious. Buying followers and paying to get featured and doing the whole like follow me thing on people's comments, things that one, don't get you anywhere and two, make you have a bad reputation with the people that you're trying to interact with because you're coming off as inauthentic and people see that, they're not dumb. People aren't dumb. So with all that being said, keep those in mind, but I wanna present the things that I've actually done that I feel like have brought me really far. So these are my do's. You don't need to be incredible to start your art Instagram. A lot of people I've talked to hold off on starting it because they don't like the way their art looks yet. They don't think they're ready. They don't think they have enough work. You don't need to be 100% prepped to start this. You can build it up very slow. And if you're waiting for this magical time to be able to start your account, it's not gonna come, and the sooner you start, the further you're gonna go. You have to put yourself out there, even if you don't feel like you're ready, because you learn so much from, from building. So number one, just start it, just start your account. If you wanna grow it, you have to start it. Go do that first, put stuff out there, it doesn't matter. You don't have to be Van Gogh to start putting your art up on Instagram. Just start building, just start doing something. Now that you've started your account, Post regularly. The accounts who continue to post daily get so much farther than the people who are trying to only put 100% quality into their pieces. And quality is great. Quality is definitely important, but there's an in-between you can find between quality pieces and putting out enough pieces to continually getting yourself recognized. When you post like every couple days or every day, the people who follow you will continue to see you and be more and more familiar with you as opposed to someone who posts every once in a while, they'll see it, then forget about them, and then, oh yeah, there's that person. As someone who shows up all the time is definitely gonna be more memorable. And if people who are almost following you but are not sure about it, see that you're consistently posting cool content, they'll want to follow that. No one wants to follow an account that once a month posts something. But again, make sure the stuff you're putting out is pretty quality. Make sure your photos in particular are not dark, not grainy, they're well lit, the colors look nice. 
Make sure when you look at the photo you've taken of your art, it's a really great representation of what you actually created in real life. Go into those little editing features on Instagram, bring up the saturation a smidge, bring the brightness up, mess with the contrast, try and get it to look pretty nice. That's where you get quality. You can also do a little research, brush off on some photography skills just to bring up that quality a little bit too. I'll do, I'll do a video about some of that stuff later. In the same vein of quality, have a look that you're going for. Doesn't mean you have to create the same kind of art over and over again, but maybe take your photos in kind of the same area so your backgrounds have a theme, or maybe stick with a color scheme like you always take your photos on white backgrounds or you always take your photos on blue backgrounds. Maybe you like plants, maybe add plants in all of your posts. Something that will distinguish you as a specific brand so when someone sees your art, they're like, Oh, I know who that is. I know a lot of artists struggle with finding their style. If you have a specific style, this helps too, but if you're still trying to find your style, it's okay to f have outside things that show people that this is your stuff. It's all branding. It's, and you don't really think about branding as being important when you're an artist, but when you're starting a small business, it is. If you want people to notice you, you have to have something that distinguishes you from other people. Oh God, I love this shirt on me. Ooh. Okay, this is important. So on Instagram, there are two different kinds of accounts you can have. You can have a personal account or you can have a business account. The business account is really cool for artists who are trying to grow because it gives you something called insights. It's like analytics that show you who your followers are, who are the people commenting on your stuff, what countries are they from, what time of day are they around, what are your posts that are getting the most engagement. They're really, really helpful when you're trying to figure out what you should and should not be posting, when you should and should not be posting. So make your account into a business account. You can go into your Instagram and go into your settings, create a business account, and that way you can go into your posts and see insights on who's looking at it. I'm in love with this feature because I can see people who follow me are online in this specific chunk of time. For me, it's from like 9 to 12 o'clock, I think, so I usually post at 10. So if I post then, that's how I'm going to get the most amount of engagement. It's really cool. If you do some digging through there and connect some of the dots on your analytics, it'll take you really far in figuring out what does well, what doesn't, when you should do things. It's really, really good. I ain't drew a map, Canada. Oh, Canada, with your face sketched on it twice. Engagement is more telling than your follower count. And the way to increase engagement is to engage back. This is one of the things that I really implemented when I was starting my growth process on my Instagram. Reply to everyone who comments on your stuff. If someone continues to like your stuff, go and like their stuff. Follow people back that are really supportive of you. It creates this relationship between you and these people who like your stuff that not only is great for you because you're so stoked to be supported by this person, but this person's stoked that you see that they're supporting you and you're, you care enough to engage with them back. It creates this great relationship and I really love it. I love engaging with other artists and seeing what they're doing and liking their stuff. They're friends. They're like, I feel like the people who follow me on Instagram are my friends and I like to treat them like friends, not like they're people who follow me. I, I try and engage with as many people as possible. I try and reply to as many messages as possible, even if I can, because there's a lot of times there's just so many, but especially people who ask questions, people who continue to comment. I wanna show those people that I really appreciate what they do and I, want, I care about them. And when you do that, people notice. People will feel that love and wanna return that love and wanna support you. As opposed to you being this weird, far off person who is just out to get these followers like you're all high and mighty. People aren't as interested in that. Engage with people back, engage, engage, engage. And also this is, a tip that I definitely really loved because it made me feel good and it helped grow my account. I don't do this so much anymore because I don't really have the time because now I'm trying to reply to comments of people who are messaging me and posting things on my posts, like things like that. But when I didn't have as much of that happening, I would go into hashtags like painter or artist on Instagram or art 
and I would scroll through and find people who I liked the art of. And it doesn't necessarily mean like I thought they were like the super coolest, greatest artists in the world. Maybe they're young artists who are building their stuff, but I could see that they're going places and have like a cool color scheme or have great ideas. And I would go onto their posts and comment and like their stuff and follow and chat with them. And it, in the same way as engaging with people who are commenting on your stuff, it creates this sort of community feeling where you want to mutually support each other. So go and support other artists, like other artists' stuff, comment supportive things on their posts, and they will want to do that for you too. It's, it's a really like human connection that is sometimes hard to find on Instagram because there's so much concern with your follower numbers, with your, your like numbers, and all that kind of stuff. But if you focus on the people who are actually there that are like you and also wanting to grow and doing the similar things as you, it creates such good vibes. It's so, it's so nice to like interact with those people and then those people will interact with you and you'll both grow together. It's awesome. There's a bunch of people on Instagram that I chat with all the time that are super nice, super chill, and I love having those people and I've watched those people grow with me. It's great. It's super great. So go, go care. Go be a, be a human, act like you would in real life. Be super supportive, because that good energy that you put out is gonna come back to you. It's good all around. It's, this is my number one tip. Just be a nice person, <laughs> put that out towards other people, and positive stuff is gonna come back to you. I'm looking through my notes. Ooh, okay, a couple other tips. Use your geolocation tags so you can get exposure from local people. I'm currently in Santa Cruz. I always tag Santa Cruz in the um, whatever you call it, because that way when people are looking through that geotag, your stuff will come up and they'll see that you're a local artist and be more interested in you, because it's really neat to find local artists. So I always recommend doing that. Oh, videos? Making video content is huge. There's like a bunch of research that shows that video content gets like crazy amounts of engagement. And for me personally, I've seen that. They'll get higher up in explore feeds, they'll get higher up in hashtags. They're really, they captivate people. It's more than just a photo and you see it for a second, keep scrolling. When there's a whole bunch of motion in it, people are more drawn to look. Do some time-lapse videos, post them on your account, along with like the main photo of whatever your art is. It's also like, just really fun and nice to watch. I can totally see why it gets the most amount of engagement because I also love watching time-lapse videos of artists. It's like my favorite thing. I'll save them all in my little Instagram save folders. I have a bunch of time-lapse videos of paintings because they're just like nice to watch and chill. Love it. I love it so much. So those are my tips for a very ethical and genuine way of growing your art account. And I know that these work because I'm in a great spot. I'm so happy with where I am right now and my follower count and the people who engage with me and people who want to buy my things. Like it's, it's great and it's worth it. I truly believe that you don't have to get lucky or be insanely, insanely talented to have a following of people who are interested in you. You really just have to put the work into it. Oh yeah, final tip, be patient. So as in with the don'ts, don't be impatient, in the do's, be patient. It takes a long time and know that it takes a long time and really go through this marathon at a steady pace, understanding that there's not always gonna be crazy spikes that make you crazy famous. You just have to put work into it and you will go places. I swear on my freaking life. Good work ethic, it's gonna get you places. Not giving up, it's gonna get you places. You absolutely will grow. There's no doubt about it that you will grow if you work really hard. Guaranteed, guaranteed. This is 100% guarantee. If it does not happen, you come here and give a good punch in the face. I don't give a shit, do it. I swear on my grave, it gets you places. So those are my tips. I hope they're helpful. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Um, also, I'm putting away this painting behind me. Me and Nikki are talking about moving and we want to downsize and I have this massive painting that was from a commission that fell through and I don't want it. It's not fully finished. It's like half finished, but I'm never gonna finish it. It's just gonna lay around for forever and it's huge. So I just, I'm doing a giveaway. I'm gonna take it off the wood and just fold it up and then send it out to the winner. It's 
three feet by four feet. It's a really big painting. Oh, 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 it's so big. So to win this guy, what you need to do is be subscribed to my YouTube, because it's a thank you to my subscribers. Comment on either the comments down below or on the post that I have just put up on my Instagram that you've subscribed and say something that you think you'd like to see on my YouTube channel. More tutorials, whether it's vlog type stuff, whether you want me to talk about materials, whether you want to show me specific methods that I use for painting, anything. And I will pick somebody at random and uh, then I'll send this little guy off in a week. I'm gonna say um, Friday, whatever that date is. I'll put that date right here. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for listening to me ramble. Thanks for supporting my channel and my Instagram and motivating me to continue to do things. I'm just so stoked that people are interested in the stuff I'm doing. It's great. It's so nice. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful and I want to give back as much as I can to people who support me. If videos are how I can support, if giveaways are how I can support, if just like continue to say thank you is how I can support, I want to support people who support me. I'm mm, so grateful. Thank you. Mm. Thanks for hanging around. I'll see you in the next video.